what's a DJ's favorite kind of music or what's a DJ's favorite kind of spaghetti sauce? Mm. Remember, remember? <laughs> oh, good <laughs> hell. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Welcome back to Fives a Crowd, y'all. You are surrounded by your five new best friends. Mm. Cam, Chris, hey. Tony, Hello. and Zach. Hola. And I'll be hosting tonight's evening of what we like to call the vomlet. It's a vomlet. vomlet. It's a vomit omelet of fun and we happiness. We have like a little, like a... Bumlet, yeah, bumlet. yeah, it would be like a song, like a little intro. <laughs> bumlet. Like the old 90s news when they would like go to a certain feature and it was like... Mm-hmm. like oh, yeah, yeah. You got to have like the stars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bumlet. And uh, it's just basically where we talk about things that are happening in our lives, what's going on around us, what's going on in the world. Just kind of catching up, hanging out, having a good time. Uh, if you would like a more centered topic, check out some of our other podcasts. Loads of options. We got murder podcasts, horror stories, top tens, reddits, you name it. Uh, and more vomit. <laughs> and more vomits. <laughs> Loads more vomits. More But yeah, They're so. The fun. They're fun. I love them. Yeah. They're the best. So. Yeah, uh, if you are new here, please make sure to do us a big favor. Drop us a subscribe and hit that notification bell. I promise by the end of this episode, you're going to love us. You're going to want to be back next week. And if not, watch another one. (laughs) And if not, yeah, try a different one and... It's like a TV show. You got to give it three episodes. Yeah, before you three say episodes. It. <laughs> three episodes. I don't know. We tried watching the fantastic Miss Maisel the other night. Couldn't make it five minutes. I ahead. mean, the preview <laughs> showed that that was probably crap. <laughs> I don't even. I haven't heard of that one. The Netflix. I don't even really know. Prime. 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 Yeah. 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 That's right. I don't even really know what it is. I could get into it, man. But we it tried. Austin doesn't know what it is either. So. Mm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> basically, it's like set in the twenties, nineteen twenties, not twenty twenties. And it's that's this female problem. that's going through like divorce, heartbreak. That's your second problem. And she's problem. trying to do stand up. And wow, she's I like, sound, it sounds really intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it had it high <laughs> I don't know. It, I could stand get up it. comedy in the 1920s. The only thing nah, that in, the only thing <laughs> that does intrigue me is the divorce in the 1920s. Like that's unheard of. Back then. Yeah. yeah, usually they get burned at the stake. <laughs> oh. <That's it. laughs> oh, I was going to say, usually they have to murder the other person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he died. I can marry again. Right? Yeah, that's, <laughs> true. that's true. Right? Huh. Huh. Wow. Speaking of TVs, like just kind of on the topic of testing out new uh, TV series, um, we watched the first episode of Sherlock. I know it's not a new one, but oh, you're uh, talking uh, like, uh, like Cumberbatch? Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. Dude, it was great. Dude, it's yeah. fantastic. I'm excited to keep going with it. That show, that show was amazing. I love that it had a modern feel to it. I didn't yeah. see that coming, so I like that. As funny as it is, I think I started that series probably like four times now, and I've watched the first three episodes like all three times. Oh, and, really? then, and then I never make it to like the next one. And even though it's still great, I just I don't know something always. Well, in each out. each season, I think is only three episodes. Yeah, three or four. Three or four. Yeah, yeah but they're each like two hours long. Yeah, they're long. They're like one movie was only an hour. I thought. Maybe. I don't know. It was so good. It's just but it was like also, I think it Maybe. was, they were around an hour, but mm-hmm. that was back when TV shows were never that long. That's true. That At maybe longest, that's they were like was. 40 minutes. Yeah. Like I was now, still going to school. Now you have a lot of those streaming shows that are an hour. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. So there's only, there's 15 episodes all together in the series. And after the first one, they all become about an hour and a half long. Oh, yeah. hour and a half. Okay, yeah. That, so yeah, but they still, are like, extremely yeah. long. Yeah, yeah. So good, the only though. thing, like this, is just personal opinion. I just I have to get into the characters more because I loved the Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law movies, right? And so I liked them more than I liked these two. But it'll, it, I know I'll get into it. It'll just take a sec. Well, these these came out before. Yeah, Robert Downey, right? With Sherlock, or, I think no, it was close. I think it was, was I think it was after the first one, yeah, but before the second one. Yeah, okay. What it it was, was during the hype of Sherlock, yeah. kind of. Like I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Who's pa- this? I'm participating. I, I do have <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch plays a good, arrogant person, which Sherlock is. So. I think yeah, he plays true. that part really well. Jess really loves him as Doctor Strange, even though we oh, haven't yeah. seen anything beyond the first, the first one. one. I need to see the Multiverse of Madness or whatever. It's okay. I like him as a dragon. 
this. Fantastic. <laughs> right? <laughs> what did what did uh, Zach Galifianakis <laughs> ask him in between two ferns? It was some like, what is it? Do you use your good looks because well, to hide the fact that you're not a really good actor or something <laughs> like that? He, he yeah. burned him pretty good. It was really no, funny. Who did he the, say that to? That was the Brad Pitt one. He yeah. said one to Benedict Cumberbatch, too. It, I, can't I, what I could see it being the other way around with Benedict. It's like, do you use your good acting to hide your looks? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's just me, because I think he's a funky-looking funky guy. Dude. He's got a following. He looks good as Doctor Strange, but... I say, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Until he gets never. Zach Zach's one of those that you never quite know where he's at on that meter. He's a, he's, a, he's a pinch hitter. I like, know for, I know he's married with kids, but man, I don't know. <laughs> that radar is just kind of like hmm. I'm not gonna it's questionable. <laughs> we can say Chris. Nothing. We're trying to keep this one family friendly. Oh, okay. I don't know if we are or not. <laughs> I mean, um, it's always 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 a good idea. <laughs> You know what? Speaking of family friendly, it's been a long time since we've done an uh, Ask Men episode. Yeah, like it's been at least eight months. I, I still want everyone before to come we with questions. I was gonna say I, uh, um, I want to do one, but I want to like plan ahead soon enough that we can put it out on our social media to have people submit some questions. Yeah. Well, here, how about we throw it down in the comments right now? Okay. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> and welcome back to... <laughs> uh, yeah, so down in the comments, if you have a question you would like to ask men, sexually or not, doesn't always have to be sexual, but we like to teeter on that great spectrum there. No, uh, I fall, I go deep. Yeah, he goes deep. He goes one Lucky inch you. deep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. It's he likes to go <laughs> balls deep, and it's just about this deep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't fill up an arena. There's no way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you, would, no. <laughs> if you would like to ask us some questions, <laughs> hashtag ask men in the comments. A S K M E N. Ask men? Yes, that's the one. Okay. Uh, down in the comments. Uh, Seriously, we'll this answer last it in an episode. Thirty seconds that we just <laughs> did is kind of a glimpse of what you can expect yeah. in Ask Men. When your wife talks to it like it's a baby, there's issues. Are you serious, dude? No, uh, uh, I made that up 100. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, dude, I was good. Is it weird? Is it weird? What do they name it? <laughs> that reminds me how of how to lose a guy. Yeah, uh, uh, Princess Prince. Princess Sophia. Sophia. Princess Sophia. Can Princess Sophia come out to so, play? No, 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 you got to name it something like, like Kroll, the warrior <laughs> king. <laughs> you can't name it after Roy's a dame. Like, like Butch or this and Kroll, the warrior king. She's like, oh, I like that. It's like, what'd you say? Butch. No, no, after that. <laughs> we just watched that. That's that actually a fun so show. so good. <laughs> I'll be honest, I haven't seen it. It's a fun chick flick. I love it. I actually really like that show. It's a fantastic movie. It's Is there any movies that you don't like? Yeah. What ones? Uh, there's one called The Lighthouse. Horrible. Really? Oh, that's the one time. with uh, Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Yes. Well, anything with Robert, Robert Pattinson. Pattinson and the guy from uh, Will- Spider-Man. Willem Dafoe. Yep. William Dafoe. It's actually just Willem. Is it? Mm-hmm. Sneaky bugger. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hiding letters for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever country he's from, because I, I feel like um, he's Scottish or Irish. Well, um, <laughs> you want to know another one? Maybe Strange Brew. You really? like Strange that Brew? That's freaking hilarious. Horrible too. I I couldn't vouch. I don't know. I haven't seen. Is that an eighties movie? I saw it yes. a long that, time that's ago. That's a Canadian one. Right? Rick that's Moranis. The, that's who we tried the, impersonating yeah. for the Canadian episode. Every time. A yeah. bunch of horse don't teasers. They do the the twelve <laughs> days of Christmas in Canada. Right. 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 Don't waste your time. Hmm. I thought it was funny. Oh, so William <laughs> Defoe is. At least uh, someone did. He's American. <laughs> oh, Willem. Yeah, Will. It says William. Will um. It's spelled W I L L I A M. No, oh, that, that bro's that been is, lying. Look at everyone. right underneath that. W I L L E M. Willem Defoe. I was gonna say. What is this? Look, what are these idiots? Do I M D B. Britannica, freaking! You guys don't know anything. Is that the encyclopedia people? Well, you got to go past no. the first, yeah, <laughs> the first yeah. Call. Uh, summarizer. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Nope. Wait, who? <laughs> Maybe will <laughs> Wikipedia is garbage. Here, Maybe. let's look, let's let them we see what we're looking know at. The Wikipedia is garbage. <laughs> Willem <laughs> Dafoe, William James Dafoe. Maybe Willem Dafoe is his actor name. That's his pen. His name. recipient, like, like his stage name. Really. 
Will. Maybe. That is a funky looking dude. Dude, yeah. he's he's, Will he's some, too hard. He's some scurry, that's for sure. Bro, he's got like a mouth. I think that bro has Steve, a mouth that would give Steve uh-huh. Tyler a, a, a run. For Here's the deal. He Did was you see the pictures people of him? calling him Will. That's yeah, what it was. Will. So he's like, Will Defoe. It's Willem. You can't call Willem Will. <laughs> you can't. It's Willem. Willem. Will. What Am. the heck? All right, maybe. I don't know. Do you see know. the pictures of him as Joker? Oh, yes. that would be epic. He'd be, He'd be good. scary. That would be so good. He would be excellent. Yeah. He was an excellent goblin, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he was great. Hmm, you bro, know, he what's always... What's your freaking name? He <laughs> looks to me like what's he would name? be... Uh, who's, who's, who's the other guy that plays underneath the goblin in Spider-Man? Da, 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 DeFranco? James, DeFranco. Yeah, James, James Franco, Franco, his son? Franco. He looks like he, looks like he could be his dad. Like legitimately, yeah, yeah, yeah. They casted well with that. Yeah. Oh wait, what happened to James Franco? Bro's probably living it up. Yeah. No, there was Bro, some dude. huge thing that happened that he got like he got like dismissed from Hollywood. Like oh, even even really? Seth Rogen and those like his best friends like don't talk to him anymore. Wasn't like like what? they they separated himself. Oh no, what? I Isn't think I remember something. I don't want to say it because I don't know and be wrong. But it was there was like a scandal. Give right? me a minute, I'll come out with it. We've so been waiting. Uh, <laughs> Apparently, I, say I would come out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You did, but you I said I would come out it. with it. Oh, with what? With what? <laughs> with what in hand? <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't you like to know? Hey, I brought us a surprise tonight. Are we doing that now? Why not? I mean, we can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not opposed. I'm a little scared, a little oh, excited. Oh, okay. A little bit nervous. So it turns out his name is William, but okay. his dad's name is William. He didn't want to be called William, so he played with different nicknames, and one of them was Willem. He revealed this well, very recently on a Colbert... No, never mind. This was five years ago. He Recently five years ago. Recently five years ago on uh, the Colbert show. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Not wanting to be called William Jr. or Billy, he experimented with different nicknames until a friend started calling him Willem. And it stuck. Willem. Will- Willem, Willem Defoe. Defoe. So he's just been lying to everyone forever. No. He's just a liar face. <laughs> Maybe that's why his friends left him, is they found out his real name and they're like, you're not that cool anymore. No, not him. Billy. James it's not Franco. Him. It's James Franco that his friends left. Well, mm-hmm. he took his dad with him. <laughs> <laughs> Should I find, see if you can find out why James Franco is off the map real quick. Zach's looking. Yeah, I'm okay. looking. Okay. While you're doing that. Really? Right, right now? Who's, who's going starting? first? Chris has I'll to. Why really? do I? You bought You're it. the one that bought it. That's true. It, bro, you are the guinea pig. You never ask your friends to do something you won't do yourself. <laughs> This is just I like, I'll go first. Mem- hey, do you, do you remember our rule? <laughs> All throughout, like, right after high school, yeah, for like 10 years. Yeah. Our the favorite, hitting rule? Our old yeah. yeah. Our, it basically, if our rule was whatever you did to your friend, you had to be willing to accept at least equal or greater value back. Right. Yep. So now, as they call it, the intrusive thoughts. Back when you had the intrusive thought of, I wonder what it would feel to slap this spoon onto an ankle. You did it to your friend, and then you gave it to them so they could hurry yeah, and do it back. That's yeah. very specific, Cam. That was How did you come up with that? Remember the snake? Oh, oh yeah. that thing sucks. That hurt. That one left a mark for a while on Tony. Oh, I, I know. I wanted it to scar. <laughs> mine, mine was what the hanger, the man. Snake. The wire hanger on the back. Ugh. You weren't there for that. Ugh. That was me, you, and Tom, and who else? It was in your apartment. I don't know. I remember that. Oh, wait. Lisa I... was there. Chris was there. Mm-hmm. Chris, were you there? Most of the time, Chris was yeah. there. <laughs> that says a lot. I antagonized it all the time. <laughs> yeah. I remember being in the base in the basement of your house. And we were rolling freaking uh, nutball. <laughs> yeah, we were playing nutball, dude. We were rolling, had our legs spread, and across the room, we would roll a ball at each other. Yeah, it was like a lacrosse. And you're just like, what? <laughs> Wasn't it your lacrosse ball? Yeah, uh-huh. we did something heavier too. There were a couple different. One of them, balls. I thought one was like you were a, like jackass light. Yep. Because <laughs> we didn't get any of the glory you know I mean? for putting it on yeah. the internet. We're like Jack Butt, face. if we were being honest. You know what I mean? Like yeah. a PG version. Jack yep. Butt. Yeah. Yep. That's right not funny. <laughs> so I think, so the wire, the hanger, wire hanger was the worst to me. 
Yeah. And I think Tom did that. That reminded me of my childhood. I think, no, oh my <laughs> gosh. The worst for me was when we were playing Back in Blue. Oh, Back in Blue. Yeah, that was a good now, one. That itself was fun, but it was when we decided to try Play-Doh. Oh, Do you remember when we hugged a, we hugged a, a handful <laughs> of Play-Doh oh, that's at our back, thinking that it would just kind of splat? When it did, but man, it stopped. That inertia it's transferred. Those, that well, yeah, it's one of those things. That was a double hit. Oh, what is it? It sting, and then it was just a dull yeah. pain. It's kind of like that liquid where when you hit it quickly, it's, it like hardens. Oh, it's like cornstarch. Oh, no, no. It's called you know a... Uh, uh, the one they run oh, across. it's scientific. It's, uh, <laughs> but you can make it with cornstarch and I water. I think you're right, yeah. Because yeah. the kids you, do it at the house all the you time. You hit it quickly, it would just be solid. <sighs> But slowly you would like yeah. sink into it. No or problem. if you pick it up and let it sit, it'll drip through your hands. But if you sit and play with it, it stays solid. What is the term? I don't know. I was oh pretending gosh. like I kind of knew, but I, I have no idea what it's you're talking about. It's like, <laughs> it's, not, it's not amniotic fluid. What? It, what? No, no, no. Not that, even. No, that's, 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 that's what's in my head. I can't think of it, but it's a. Uh, Comes out of your wife. Yep. No. Gosh hey. dang it. I'm doing this. Kay. I know the word. I'm doing this. You're doing it? Wait, Wait, try how to, hard are you, you going? Him? Are you taking a hard... Okay, ah. so this... You don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Non-Newtonian. No. Not, that's the word. Newtonian, yes. Yeah. Non-Newtonian fluid. Non-Newtonian fluid. fluid. Okay, so Chris, for now over a year, has wanted all of us to try yeah. smelling salts. Did you buy it a year ago? I don't know. You bought something. it the night we talked about I it. I could check you? my Amazon cart, but I, there's only there's only dream killing there. You bought it when we were still at Austin's so old house. I'm a little bit concerned because the ones I've always seen, you have a packet and you break the packet. And you break it. Yeah, yeah. this is not that. I well, saw what it, the heck is this? Joe Rogan okay. and Theo Vaughn did something like this. This one's extra large. <clears throat> that this is a lot in one. XL. This is called... In s- bottled insanity. So, I mean, it sounds promising. Okay. <laughs> are we going to get wait, wait, high or something? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. <laughs> what are the warnings on this? <laughs> There's got There's I mean, no warning label. This, these oh things will gosh. wake people out of comas, no, bro. No, keep away from children. <laughs> Who agreed to this? All of us. All of us. I don't remember agreeing oh, to this. Oh, you, were, you were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you were oh. asleep. This All is right. not going to be anywhere near as bad as the one chip challenge. This says avoid know. contact with eyes and mouth. Yeah, oh, it says, you have to, it says you have to keep it six inches away from your nose. Challenge accepted. I'm going <laughs> to... Okay, wait. How, how, and how hard of a puff are you taking? Wait, let me... Just, have, you ever, have you ever whiffed horseradish before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that burns. Okay. okay hold I, it's going to be a lot worse. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What I if can't it hits hold the rest anymore? What <laughs> if the second you open it, what, it just hits us all? On? What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Tell Why me are you? This is in focus. Whoa. I'm scared. Little. Nope. Oh. Stop Doc. talking. You guys all Speak. Talk. All of us just talk at the same talk. time. Everybody talk. Keep talking. Tell me when it's in focus. Could you step back? I see nothing. Push the second picture in picture. The middle one. This guy. No, over more. Over more. That one. The middle one. Middle one. This one? Yes. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> actually, no. Do that. That is a, actually is the right wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. Where are we at? Dude, it's just back. so blurry. <laughs> Guys, we're... S- All right. Never mind. You gotta we go almost back. had it. You got to come back. Here's Why not just put it in front of the... Oh, I don't know. That camera. <laughs> I was trying to show you guys okay. what we're doing. Just read. I, I'm going to try to keep a straight face with this thing. Okay, everyone's got to be quiet so the camera focuses on Chris. Okay. Put it over here, camera. Here you go. Oh, there you go, buddy. Good job. I'll make sure. I'll just keep pressing three. So here we go. Transfer. <laughs> you don't, I mean, how, how, how strong of a hit do you take? I don't know. I'm just going with God. <laughs> 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 now, are you, you going to open up right at six inches? Or are you going to open it up small? No, I'm. What I'm if just, it spreads? I'm opening it. <laughs> it's like pepper spray. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> it's <What>? not bad. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Your eyes are watering. Hey, bro. Did you see Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> okay. Dude, what? Ole. Ole, 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 ole. Woo! <laughs> I'm ready to go. <sighs> Take a look at like that. Adrenaline morning. through the nose. Should we have these are, should we have that around when I fall asleep? Oh dude. That was the idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who's next? Cam? Uh, okay. Tony. Tony. 
braving it up. I took oh, a. How far were I, you? I, I, I don't know. Inches. Like, I wasn't. No. <laughs> No, further. For, that's about six. Dude. <laughs> yeah, this is... This Minor. <laughs> if that's six inches, I got some bad news for you, bud. That's not oh, six bro, inches, dude. Oh, bro, that was literally like an inch away. <laughs> what are you doing? Bro, you look like the freaking... Oh, you look like... Uh, Harry from... Uh, well, you don't want to do it? No. I guess I'll go next. Are you going to go? No, Are Marv. Marv is Marv the one with the crazy hair in Home Alone? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's, what I, that's what I got from my that. palms are sweating. Holy cow! Your knees weak. <laughs> what does it feel like? I'm after Zach. It's just, like we'll make, just, we'll make him go just last. Do it. All right. You're gonna make me go last? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was gonna go next. Listen, I still don't have it's my spell back from COVID, and that is it back. Did it you fix saw you? Jesus, it right? It. I only got it up one yeah. nostril. It's not that bad. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give me that. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> what does it do? You guys aren't telling me anything. No. If you're leaving it to the last. It didn't get me that bad. <laughs> you gotta do it again. Yeah, I'll do it again hell. with you. I'll do it again. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh my God. Who's get the pictures, boy? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Zach more alive. <laughs> just go. Don't you feel? Bro, wow. you <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. Six <laughs> inches, People bro. coming into this halfway are thinking we're doing cocaine or something. <laughs> oh, it's, did I ever tell them what we're doing? It's smelling salt. Smelling nope. salt. <laughs> nope, you, gotta, you gotta go closer than that. Oh no, dude. <laughs> I felt like the mask like when your all eyes went out of your head. Okay, all pass it over to Austin. That was all one nostril. All my, right. my watch is telling me we're too loud. <laughs> <laughs> like we're going to damage our own eardrums. Uh, Wait, why did you shake it? <laughs> Fresh set. Going. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I, I'm sorry. I might swear. <laughs> That's all right. After he swears. <laughs> Who swore? Just, just yeah, go yeah, for it. Like, just, how, hard, how hard did you puff? I just you like, don't just, ask to puff that hard. Just get it. Just, just, just do it. Is that what you did? Yeah, that's yeah. what I did. See, but like, like Tony, for me, it all went one side. Yeah, mine really? all went up. Mine hit, so mine I felt both. it in my eyeball. Yeah, like, just, no, don't. Okay, go. Go. Oh! <laughs> what in the hell is that? <gasps> <gasps> Tony's like, give me, another, give me another hit. That's what I mean. <laughs> oh. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> it almost takes your breath away. <laughs> now we're just glad. I kind of enjoy it. Just <laughs> got- <laughs> Wait, let me see it again. <laughs> it gives you a rush. I huh? need it to hit the other knob. Yours goes internal. <laughs> like mine goes out. Yours is like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, they're even. <laughs> I, I honestly need that when I'm oh. like having sinus issues. Dude, I clear me yeah. up. Dude, Dude, what Tony. is that smell? Tony, uh, just hit me again. Tony just he revealed like he's a closet drug addict if you were to ever do drugs. He's like, I kind of <laughs> like it. <laughs> Can you, like, line this up on a mirror or? <laughs> I want to. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just did a hard reset, bud. <laughs> Dude, your reaction is see, priceless. I want to see what it... <coughs> outer. I feel like... I look like... You know when, like, a baby, when they're really young and you go like this and they'll... Uh-huh. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, you got the uh, when, well, you're, you're when you drop them. What's that called? It came from Canada. I can't. The first, the first go, it felt like getting water up the nose. Yeah, that's yeah. what I would kind of. Explain but then it, it was like, like a like a, I don't know, like a cardboardy like weird musk. Yeah. Oh you gotta man. Gotta get them hitters, boy. That's <laughs> woo Montana cherries. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going again? Yeah, I'm going to go again. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, okay, Zach, you're the only one who hasn't gone twice. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, ah. so weird. Woo! <laughs> really? I got to go again? Let's have a podcast, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Let's talk about interdimensional, interdimensional travel. <laughs> Get up in there. Come on. Take a hit of these Montana cherries. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's, it smells like pneumonia. Or, it is ammonia. It, is ammonia. <laughs> ammonia. it, it smells is. like pneumonia. <laughs> Instant pneumonia. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh boy. Get it, right. get it right. Get it tight. Woo! Well, well, start falling asleep. Here, I've never been you. high before. I am now. Yeah, Tony, hold on to that when he starts yeah. falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Quick see. whiff under his nose. I'm starting to see tracers. <laughs> oh, man. That's I wonder how wild. long this is, a, how long it's good for. Like when it starts oh, it really losing is. its potency. Ammonia inhalant. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. What are what are they? Dude, that's wild. It wakes you right up, huh? Yeah, it feels I'm, like I'm not gonna lie. Just for the reaction, I kind of want to fall asleep, because that would scare the hell out of me. Don't worry, <laughs> you will. <laughs> Give it episode number two tonight. <laughs> Tune in next week. It'll be there. Oh my gosh, that was wild. Oh, I do they like, make oh, different I like, flavors? I feel like, like, I, feel I, feel like, like I got stuff hairs. up my nose. Yeah. I feel like my nose hairs are burnt. Feels heavy, huh? Yeah. Like right here. <laughs> you <laughs> like it? Again? <laughs> well, if you do it again, I have to. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Woo! I hope I hope it's I a mixture of chemicals typically containing oh. ammonia that can be sniffed as a restorative or stimulant to oh. relieve faintness or swooning. I'm stimulated. <laughs> stimulated. I just like the what feeling the heck in my is nose. Swooning. Uh, when you <laughs> Cool. You all right? I went too deep. <laughs> <laughs> it's traditionally used for for people who have fainted, <laughs> and they're uh, the penetrating odor. <laughs> Look at his eye. <laughs> it's like stuck <laughs> shut. <laughs> Bro went hard in the paint. Gosh, that's funny. <laughs> Dude. Well, this is stupid. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> if you guys are just listening, you got to go to YouTube and watch us or Spotify. Either one has video. This is great. Oh, jeez. I'm going to find something else fun to bring next time. That was fun. <laughs> that was great. Goodness. That was wonderful. Anywho, uh, do what not else? remove cotton ball. There's a cotton ball in there. I didn't see it. <laughs> Add one teaspoon of powder or water. I guesstimated. Close lid tightly, shake well, uncap, sniff, perform. Oh, we sniffed. Keep lid tightly sealed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, could you imagine you have this in your bedside table? It's like, time to go, boys. Dude, wake up I in the morning. Kinda, honestly, wake up in the morning. It. <laughs> <laughs> Every morning, just give a quick little. Like I, now I, I it's ca- basically just ammonia water and alcohol. So what is ammonia? All right, look. God damn like, it. <laughs> ammonia? Get a good, get a good. I don't know if I want to go full. You never go full. <laughs> <laughs> it's a color. My colorless. eye did. <laughs> Not it's saying a, the full sentence there. <laughs> yeah. Canceled. It's a colorless gas with a distinct pungent smell. Oh, that's yeah, it. If you mix it's it a, with some stuff. Isn't it, it fermented? It's like. It says it's a common nitrogenous, nitrogenous waste, particularly among aquatic organisms. Right? This oh, is okay. the stuff you don't want to mix with bleach, right? Yeah. This yeah. is the stuff that'll kill you. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Makes yeah. Uh, ammonia. They used to put that in Windex. Chlorinated you can still uh-huh. find it in it some of them. Gas mm. if you mix but it. yeah, if you mix it, it can. Inorganic compound Just of get nitrogen your nose in and there. hydrogen. Oh my! Whoa! Okay, <laughs> that is. The thing, the thing that's funny about Wait, it is uh, I feel like there's like. Literally an invisible window. Oh yeah, like this, and you got to get it just right. Yeah, it lines up and hits. I it. think that's why. I think that's why it hit just one nostril last time. Is I don't think well, I was... every time I've done it, it's only hit one. Really? Yeah, it's only. You always have one. one you always one. have one that's like working better than the other. No, one. It yeah. just depends on which one's gonna start screaming first. Is the problem <laughs> yeah. with it? Wow, dude, could you imagine if that you were like knocked out and? We'll find out here soon. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> what a rough start. All right. Okay. Oh, boy. Back on track, my boys. Uh, um, what's going on in your lives? Well, I was going to say James Franco. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Found out about that. So this was a couple of years ago. Um, so there was allegations made against him um, about sexual, mis- sexual misconduct. Right. Um, apparently, he had started a school and uh, an acting school or whatever. And he used his, so he was heavily into like drugs and stuff like that. And he actually kind of turned to sex 
that to kind of fill some voids and gaps and stuff like that. I get <laughs> it's it. It's usually what happens. I get right? it. Yeah. No, I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Until I was introduced to these salts. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one. Basically, um, there's allegations that he used his acting school to create a pipeline of young women for exploitation in the name of education, mm. um, saying that he had consensual, consensual sex with the students. Um, Franco did say that he actually had one of his course classes called master class sex scenes. Um, and he goes, that's one of the stupid things I did. Um, but he did, um, he said, I didn't sleep with anybody in, in that particular class, but over the course of my teaching, I did sleep with students and uh, were they, were they underage or where's the misconduct come in? Basically, sexual exploitation. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh. student-teacher relations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. He was playing, setting, setting up the school. Professor Xavier over there. Yeah. Gift of, <laughs> what is it? A school school for gifted, gifted youngsters. <laughs> <laughs> so and um. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and oh. Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen did came out and said that. Um, it's the salt. <laughs> He's not going to be working with him at all anymore. So wow. Well, at least right now. Um, I just saw a. a uh, oh, what was I on? I think I, I was on a streaming service trying to find a movie to watch, and how some of them, if you stop on it, it'll play a preview. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the movie now. It was like Freaks and Geeks. That's oh. what it was called, and it's got all of them really yeah. young. Yeah. And so it's like these guys have been friends forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now to see them all of a sudden. Well, I, the issue was that I read into it is a lot of people were asking Seth Rogen, like if he knew about it and why he didn't say anything about it and all this stuff. And so he was, he's trying to disband himself away from it mm. as to not get caught up in the allegations themselves. It could even be a thing. And this is assuming positive intent, but like if him and James talked and James was like, distance yourself from me. Like, Maybe. you know what I mean? Like he could be like, like I'm going to fall on the sword. You get away from me. So you don't, like you know, as a friendship exactly. thing, it's like listen. It's like, I, I made the mistakes. Up. Yeah, I don't want you to pay for it. Hmm. One could hope. I hope that's what. It is. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, definitely. It's as about as chivalrous as you can get in that situation. <clears throat> yeah. I guess I don't know. Rough. Well, that's, that's terrible. Because like, if he if, if he recognizes it's something he did wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who knows? Because I does. mean, I feel, I feel like he does, and he, I believe he actually came to a settlement. So it was never, it was all allegations. It was never yeah. this nor that, but he finally just decided to settle. So, so maybe of, he was like, yeah, I maybe, what is it where they, uh, it, it's, I made mistakes. Somebody's looking up to you. So you have influence over them. Yeah. What do they call that? Um, it's like teachers when teachers have sex with students. Oh. They, I, authoritarian. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. I oh. forget what's <clears throat> yeah, they're almost sorry. afraid to say no to that authority. Yeah, yeah. So you're taking advantage uh -huh. yeah. of a position of authority, right? From from reading more into it, he he did say that he said he made mistakes. He's denying <clears throat> some of the claims that came out, some of the allegations, but he does adhere to the fact that he did make mistakes, and I right. think that's why he settled. Gotcha. So, all right. Kind of while we're on sad news, um, I saw. <laughs> That uh, Pat Casey, um, he was a BMXer, died in a motocross accident. He was like 26 years old, oh, I think. Oh, man. But. What so about what about our personal 29, life? excuse me. Oh, he's 29? Dang. But he was like X Games star, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Still messing with you. This is, I got like a headache knows? now, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's got him. You got a headache? I do. I got a headache now. Aw. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never sleep now. <laughs> night, night. Night, night. <laughs> That's Ric Flair's thing. Because you really, it's just like, woo. Mm -hmm. Like, you just. Whoo, probably what he does. His was spreads a, them on his finger. I was going to say, his was probably a, a different kind of white powder. Yeah, yeah, uh, true. Wrong finger. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, anything going on in your personal lives? Anything of note? Anything crazy? We almost had a baby yesterday. <laughs> we <Expand>. had, <laughs> We almost had a baby. It's 
not a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Uh, no, yesterday she at least started feeling contractions, or at least what she thought was contractions, because mm. with the previous two, she induced a week early. And so she never really just felt like the pregnancy, like contractions, like it's starting. Sounds mm. to me like she just wanted attention. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, so she called the nurse. The nurse told us to go down to the hospital so she can be checked because she's like two days two days away from thirty eight week or thirty seven weeks, so it's still preterm. So they just wanted to be safe. Mm. Um, but yeah, we got down there and it turns out it was just like the Braxton Hicks. Oh yeah, it that's was a- gas. <clears throat> no, it wasn't gas. She did take a big poop later though. <laughs> But it didn't stop after that. <laughs> Big old meaty chub. <laughs> it's good to know. Oh good my to God. know. <laughs> the good old. I don't know pickle. why, but that is something I never wanted to know about any of my friends' wives. Right? <laughs> what that they poop? They all do it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no, she she felt maybe it was the fact that it was day. a big one, and I'm just like, you know, maybe that's just something you don't need to share. Looked like a lightning bolt. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I do what it looked like. Oh, oh, that's good. Does it send you pictures? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah? Does, huh? does Lisa send you pictures? <laughs> is she like, is that normal? <laughs> She's like, look, it looks like your eyebrow. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh, it was furry. <laughs> <laughs> looked like a caterpillar <laughs> trying to crawl out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, she did feel like the contractions like all day yeah. though. So she had a she had a rough day yesterday. That's, but that's wild. Out. So even in her previous two, she never got Braxton Hicks. Mm-mm. That's crazy. Because wow. Jess had Braxton Hicks since Micah. What causes which, that? It's just your body preparing what for. Is, like, okay, they had a weird name for it. It was like. Uh, Braxton Hicks is pretty weird. No, they had they. She kept saying something else. It was like uterus irritability or something like that. Huh. That makes sense. Like, but get yeah, out. Yeah, it's literally get like it, basically it's just all those muscles and everything is just huh. tired and it's almost the time. The uterus is pissed. There's a baby in it. Mm-hmm. All right. It's like <laughs> I'm over this. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. Huh. So, but false nope, alarm. Not, but not yet. But, you're excited for but a minute, we're, though. Huh? We're in that. We're in that time frame, though. It could honestly yeah, it could be, any, be time. any time. How far along is she? She'll be, she'll be 37 weeks tomorrow. Oh, okay. And we're the plan, the, the due date is the 30th. We're planning on inducing on the 23rd. Mm. Gotcha. Ah, so we're still... A How little... fast are her labors usually? Like, so once, if, the, if you get to the inducing part, can you expect to have the baby right away? It, I think with Scarlett, we ha- we got down there at like, I want to say like 8 in the morning, and she was out by noon. Okay. Now that's real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, with Lucas, she got induced. I mean, we got there at, gosh, was it 7? Something like that. And then like by the time she actually got her drip going, it was like 2, 3 hours later. She had Lucas. Hmm. Yeah, baby. It was fast. Yeah. It was crazy. All about that. <laughs> what? That well, the, speed. The, funny, the funniest <laughs> part was is the we were always cracking jokes because just you know they they're not allowed to eat that day because they have the they have to get the epidural and all mm-hmm. that stuff. And so Jess is all about the food because she loves to eat and couldn't have any food that morning. And this has been every single delivery. And so this last time. We were cracking jokes like, hey, if you get done early, we can still have breakfast. Like, and so <laughs> I think baby was out by like 1130. It's like, oh, we missed the cutoff, Dang, yeah. but we could get lunch now. It was funny. I remember with Lisa, because we, we knew she was going to have to have a C-section just because he was breech. Uh-huh. All of them was breech. And she's like, I think I, I think I'm, I think I'm having contractions. I'm like, okay, do you want to go get it checked out? She's like, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. And then we go, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's time to go. And like, as soon as we got in the hospital, we're like, oh, crap. Like, right now? <laughs> Baby's coming. All right, then. Dang. And then Dude, went right in and did it. I was talking to a friend at work, and she said that she was in labor for like six hours really? at home and had oh. no idea. And like, because like she would just have some contraction, but it wasn't crazy bad. Yeah. And they, she went in, and they're like, yeah, you've been in labor for a while now. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> when that's my, crazy. When one, one of my sister-in-laws was having her first, um, 
she uh, she went to her mom to tell her because she was living with her parents at the time, and her mom remembered that on her first one it took forever, and mm-hmm. so she kind of just assumed the same thing, and so she goes to, up to her mom. She's like, "Mom, I think my I think my water no." Yeah, her water did break. She's like, Mom, I think my water broke. And she's like, okay, I'm going to go take a shower. (laughs) And then, so like, she's, so her being, it's her first, she doesn't know. She's like, okay. And so like, Mom goes and takes a shower. She's kind of getting some stuff ready. And like, kind of short story short, they like show up to the hospital and she walks into like the foyer in the door screaming, I'm having a baby. And they had to like, bring a wheelchair down for her. She about had that baby in the elevator on the way up to the oh delivery room. Gosh. Like Gracious. she barely made it. No epidural because it was like, gosh. Um, and I'm just like, you know, I feel like, and I apologize to any women out there otherwise, but it's like, I feel like the common sense thing is if your water breaks, you go. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It's not, Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll get to it. <laughs> you just, get, I don't know. get on down there, man. I'd slap that mama. What? Take a shower. Yeah, right. Get Jeez. in the car. We're going. I'm going without you. You can yeah, shower seriously. in the Take room. the car. Yeah. Like, Later. Meet me there, dude. Take an Uber. You're t- yeah, you're taking the oh. bus. <laughs> Gosh, that kind of makes me mad for her. Anyway. All right. Yeah. Um, I have, like, kind of bummer news. Uh-oh. Uh, Brinley bro- broke her collarbone. Oh, oh I saw dang. that, man. Yeah. Right at the beginning I of saw, summer. Yeah, I saw she broke something, but I didn't yeah. see Yeah, we, uh, we were up in Idaho uh, visiting family, and we were at a church bowery, like the picnic area, and the kids were climbing up in trees and different things, and Brinley's been climbing trees ever since she could, and so I had no worries about it, but she was hanging on to a branch that it was a good sized branch i'd say at least six to eight inches across like i would have trusted the branch but come to find out it was rotten through the middle Mm. and uh um yeah she was i want to say she said she was sitting on it because she was kind of stepping over it put a little bit of her weight on it and it snapped and she came down we guessed probably 10 feet oh my god and so it was a decent fall and yeah she came right down on her shoulder Mm. and uh crazy thing is is one like when she gets hurt she's kind of prone to passing out she has what? been she has been ever since she was little and so get but, your bottle of them smelling salt <laughs> <laughs> but surprisingly she didn't pass out she didn't cry nothing like she was just she just hit the ground knocked the wind out of her so that part panicked her a little bit but uh she laid there kind of you could see it in her eyes but like all in all she wasn't like panicking she just laid there got her breath back and uh and then she was talking to us just fine we asked her we're like does anything hurt she's like my shoulder kind of hurts i can't move my arm and and so we were thinking either dislocated shoulder or broken collarbone and uh, but her shoulder looked fine and so we just yeah took her to the local hospital up there and sure enough, that's what it was. The x-rays are pretty awesome. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. They're they, awesome? I mean, x-rays in general are just cool to look at. I Still don't know. magic. But, uh, it's magical. <laughs> Sorcery. But like her, so her collarbone, I mean, I know you, you folks listening can't really see, but uh, her collarbone basically looks like this now. So kind of a break like this. But the doc was saying that if it's broken like straight up, or if it's broken to the point where the bones are crossing, then they have to go in and put a plate and stuff. But in her case, where it's a pretty clean break, they don't do anything with it. They just throw her in a sling for six to eight weeks. And, and Does that mean, though, just... so, like, when you say it's like this, are you talking on one of the sides? Like, oh, a wish, like yeah, basically literally. right where you can feel, right uh-huh. here, kind of on the front of your shoulder. Hers is, like... Popped out, protruding just out. So it's just bit. always going to be popped out. He said it'll flatten a little bit, but all in all, she will now always have a little bump there hmm. between the slight bump in the bone itself and the scar tissue. Hmm. But well, I told you, I offered to do it while I was at the house today. Just poke it right back in. <laughs> <laughs> just pop that bad boy back in place. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. So she's in ah, that sling till probably. She, she's in the sling till probably. July, mid-July to 
close to the end of July, so about half the summer. <laughs> Her right arm, especially when you think her about right. ten feet, is and she's like right-handed. She's it's a lefty, high, but it's also oh, not that's good. Then, so it, make, it like just makes you a little more fearful. Like you can even just have a kid on your shoulders and they fall off. I'm like, it's yeah. technically Break stuff. Like, it's technically one story. Yeah, well, yeah, but still, feet. like, yeah. I mean, well, I had heard, I had read somewhere that if you fall from a height higher than you are tall, the percentage of you dying like amplifies. What? Yeah, I, I forgot. How, I forgot the like details of it, but it was something like that, where it's like if you fall from a height higher than you are tall, then yeah, and it's like, well, geez, this was twice her height. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what scared but me about the hike wild. that I did with Chris. Is we were hiking up a basically a river at some point, and so I had put Micah on my shoulders because. I mean, she was too small, I think, to really trust on my back. Mm. And but honestly, like putting her on my shoulders, even though it made us really tall, it honestly put a lot more like traction to my feet directly underneath. So I I was really, really stable, but it was really scary still just the thought of like if I fall, like that's a long way down, Mm -hmm. especially for her. And so I was like in my head preparing, like if I do fall, I got to do this or because how do you catch yourself and her? I'm not going to catch myself. Like, I'll just catch her. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you take the hit. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. But, I mean, I was really careful and safe. And honestly, Lisa trailed me a lot because she was like, yeah. if, she, if she falls, I'm saving her. I'm like, yes, please. Just, right. like, save her. Don't Forget save her. Forget about me. Yeah. <laughs> Austin's just rolling down a stream that's, like, that deep. He's like, take care of my child. <laughs> Witness me. Stand up. <laughs> Never yeah. forget. <laughs> but, yeah, that's crazy. Man. Yeah, luckily, I, like I was just telling Chris, she's a lefty, and this happened to her right shoulder. So, oh, she yeah. is a lefty. She's a so lefty. She's even so more luckily, lefty now, right? <laughs> so, luckily, she's got her her dominant arm and hand and everything. So, ah, wow, that scares me about the tree, though. We asked her, we're like, "So, are you ever going to climb trees again?" She's like, "Well, yeah." We're like, "Good." Because yeah. yeah, you got to get, right. get back on, that, on that saddle. Yeah. <laughs> gotta get back on that tree. Yeah. yeah. Now you go find that tree. You chop it down and make it your be up. <laughs> <laughs> make a, a rocking chair. Yeah, turn it into a rocking chair. <laughs> <laughs> Every piece of furniture in your house is something that hurts you at some point. <laughs> Why is there a stuffed dog? <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, it was a real dog. See the scar? That's my <laughs> ottoman. Remember when Happy Gilmore did that to the crocodile head? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, remember, the, remember that crocodile, crocodile that, that got, got your hand, hand Chubbs? I got, oh, his, I head. got his head. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Take back the thing that hurt you. In, uh, other news, house is coming along again. We got doors on the inside now. Dude, I'm telling you. Doing the trim work. You got to do something epic in that garage. It has to be <laughs> the coolest garage imagined. I don't want a car in that garage. <laughs> no cars allowed. Austin made it out to the house the other day, and yeah, that, that garage. We were teasing that the two-car garage could be a four-car garage if I add a lift. Because oh. you could pull two cars in, lift them, and then pull two more cars in. Oh, bad idea. easily, dude. <laughs> what are those ceilings? Like 30 feet? Yeah. The ceilings in his garage are 30 feet. That's dope. Dude, he could have an Olympic tramp in there year <laughs> round. What you need to do is you need to put storage. Like yeah. Build a storage Okay, be lock. practical. Well, talk about boring. <laughs> That's boring. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can have a rock wall. You My can bad. Have, oh, you can have a rope cool. course. Mm-hmm. Oh, in the in the ceiling, I'm, you go back your warrior. Forth. I'm just yeah. over here thinking like an adult. Okay, go. Just, that's yeah. dumb. Boring adults. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't. It's all about exercise, all right? You can't go in through the door until you go up the rope course. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get to the door, and it'll let you in. Well, I'm yeah. sleeping outside. So put the door up. <laughs> put the door up on the ceiling. <laughs> dude, get you a nice so little dumb, cot dude. in the garage, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's so dope. I told I told him he should have one of those tramps that has the wall. Like where you, people stand on the wall and they jump down and oh. they can you like run up the wall and do ninja moves. Yeah. That would be so sick. That'd be dope. And a foam pit. Yeah. Oh, foam One pit. side's a trampoline, zip the other line. side's a the... There you go. <laughs> you can have a zip line in your garage. <laughs> Open or... the door. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do Boom. a bonus room. Do a bonus I know. room there. Make a, you could get that little net thing. Have you seen that? And then do something cool. 
people will put they have rooms with gi- giant ceilings uh-huh. so they'll install these like nets swiss family robinson net. kind of thing yeah yeah. yeah yeah and like they're high tension so you can just like lay on it okay play Almost on like it put some blankets the and stuff up there on there trapeze at a circus type thing <laughs> kind of but it's like it's held tighter so it barely gives and he gives gotcha. so like you put blankets and pillows and stuff up there and watch a movie whatever. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of like when you cool. see those tents off the side of cliffs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, I know it we had rad. talked about like down the road doing some kind of loft area for whatever. It'd be way cool to have a little loft up there. Dude, it'd be way dope. Oh, so man now loft. it's cool to have a loft. Well, a man I loft. mentioned it, it wasn't. Well, not yours for is for storage. storage. <laughs> Ours is for. You just said storage. We're gonna you hook up. Loft? I said a loft. No, you no, said. You did not. I said too. No, you said no. You said, no. said what you should do is a Rewind, lot of storage. Rewind, and I said you should create okay. like comment, a loft up comment there. Comment what he said. That you can put like storage or something. You, there was no loft. I no said loft. loft. What did he say, Tony? Did you I, hear loft? I, I, I have the Mandela effect going on now, so I'm not saying one way or another. There was no loft mentioned. <laughs> I said loft. We'll have Watch, a puff he of that did. wake back up. Watch, he did it or all wrong. We didn't hear it. We, 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 as we'll soon as we're out. done, we'll go back to the tapes on this. I we, say tapes. Review the, the tale of the tapes. <laughs> review the tapes. H. I'm from the 90s. <laughs> Speaking of tape, though, fun fact, the new movie coming out, Oppenheimer, um, they did make... Uh, one for IMAX that was actual like film. Nice. It's eleven miles long. Oh, what? What? Eleven miles of film. Oh, wow. My God. Weighs six hundred pounds. Oppenheimer. I just saw a meme about this. This is a new movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's the new Christopher so, Nolan. So Christopher Nolan came out and said that they don't want. They didn't want to use CGI for the nukes. Yep. Yeah. So are they using nukes? Well, if you think about it, <laughs> all the original u- nukes were just. Tested out on an island. So did he use a nuke? I mean, someone was it you explaining yeah. how he did it? He knows. I saw, I saw a thing. It's a mini. Yeah, he. It's ba- a mini nuke. He basically they built this contraption that they're gonna have a mini explosion inside of this contraption. You can do but a then mushroom cloud with film it nukes. to look large. So you know how like yeah. monster movies, things like that, they usually build like a small replica of a city and then smash it. It's basically gonna displace. be that, but they're gonna. He built this mini replica to make a mushroom cloud wow but no that's all the memes cool. about it though were freaking hilarious yeah the ones where it's like the cameraman's like did you get the shot and his face is all yeah. melted <laughs> off like you know the scene from, so from terminator 2 and she's hanging on the fence and she's fried it's like <laughs> cast members watching the new thing and it's that scene <laughs> or, or there's the scene where it's like no wonder why all the extras are offered so much extra money yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, was, giant life insurance <laughs> their payment is Nuke life town? insurance yeah, dude. <laughs> I saw the one you know the scene she's in the in Indiana fridge. Jones 4 when he crawls into the fridge and it launches him. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, what it's is it? Like the cameraman fridge. on Oppenheimer and it's him coming out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so or the is- Spider-Man where uh, it's when Toby Maguire's face is like exploding and is like uh, <laughs> I've so seen what, a few of them. What is Oppenheimer? 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 What's it about? It's about What's the, the first premise? atomic bomb. Yeah. Oh, developing he, he it. created the first atomic bomb. Oh, okay. So that's was, the name of the guy? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yes. Um, Oppenheimer. I thought... Uh, was his full oh, name? I guess he is in it. I was going to say, I thought Einstein technically did. He helped He was out, part of it. Yeah. Yeah. J. Robert Oppenheimer. Gotcha. He, he was part... So he was part of the Manhattan Project. Oh, my gosh. Seeing that picture of him, that Killian... Uh, right. Oh, looks like just Killian. like Yeah. That's crazy. During Manhattan, Pro- he was an American theoretical physicist. During the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer was the director. He was the director of the Los Alamos Laboratory and responsible for the research and design of the atomic bomb. You He's think often if- known as the father of the atomic bomb. You think if he could, he'd take it back? Somebody else I, would get it. Well, though. here's the thing. That's here's true. the thing. I, I, I may be wrong, but I want to attribute this to him. I believe he said something to the effect of, if I don't do it, and do it right, someone else will do it and do it worse or something like that. Mm-hmm. So he's like, in his mind, he made it to yeah. be used once. As a deterrent. And then nobody would touch him again because they would see how terrible it is. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, yeah. It's like he thought, so it's going to happen no matter what, but yeah. I don't want it to continue, so I want to make it so terrible that nobody and uses it again. that's when all the alien sighted, sightings started happening. Speaking exactly. of which. Exactly. Good segue. Bro. Did you see 
the body cam footage of the LAPD. Oh yep. my gosh. Yep. Crazy. Did you see it? Did you I see didn't it? see it. You didn't see it? No. It's happened in Vegas. Dude, it ha- so this it's body cam footage of a cop and he's Wait, doing it LAPD something. or Las Vegas PD. LVPD, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Did yeah. I say LAPD? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm sorry. Las Vegas. You said loft. Loft. Oh, <laughs> that's where loft was. <laughs> I'll take so, it. I'll take it. <laughs> so LVPD had the body cam on, and they actually, the camera caught this footage of something falling out of the sky. Uh-huh. Pretty much bang, bang, almost immediately, someone called into 911 mm-hmm. and was talking to him and was saying, hey, there are these giant figures in our backyard. Eight feet tall. Yeah. At least eight feet tall, <laughs> huge eyes looking at us wow and they were saying one of them was oh, like 10 gosh. feet tall that gives me the and yep, so the guys so the cops went to go foot. talk to him and they also said they also caught footage of uh, an escalade a black escalade showing up within minutes of the crash well because this all happened after the police's body cam footage yeah and the policeman had said something right he said he saw it yeah. so the other ones who received the call took it seriously because they just heard yeah. their partner well, they, had seen something. They even told the the people that witnessed the things in the backyard, they said they're like, the cop was like, okay, he's like, can you explain what you saw? So they kind of do, and he's like, all right. He's like, well, I'm going to be honest with you. The reason why like, we're out here, we're doing this, is because my partner on the other side of town just saw this, blah, blah, blah. And can we Can we show them the video? Do you, could you have access to it? It can't uh, be copyrighted. It just doesn't have audio. Well, could you put your mic up to the speakers? Let's see here. We just gotta go. Back We're testing. We haven't figured out the audio for the picture in picture just yet. Right but there. We might be able to do something here. This. I mean, it's creepy. Wasn't it like an hour later? I thought it said like an hour after the body cam footage is when the call came in or something. We're figuring this all out live. Oh, it doesn't really have much audio. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, it just has creepy sounds. Look at that, That's how they describe it, too, the blue flame. Oh, look at that. Creepy. (sighs) Here they come. Is that creepy guy? Oh, it is oh it's just a bunch of talk, like text. Okay, so it froze when we showed the video. Let's, yes, but let's try this. Did it get the picture in picture or no? It probably was. Go ahead and do picture in picture. Let's try it again. We're, we're real figuring quick, this out this live, is, guys. Sorry. This is what <laughs> we are guinea pigs. So I was hoping to make this just just it, bigger than frame, that. Not big yeah. screen. I mean, I can just zoom, zoom in, in. I guess. That's crazy. Good to know. <laughs> Back in for dramatic effect. Mm-hmm. We're going to do this a second time around. So the, we've already watched this. Basically, it's a lot of text on screen. But you'll see the... Emergency. There you There's go. like an eight-foot person beside it. And another one inside. And they have big eyes and look at us. And it's so good. I want to find some aliens. <laughs> Boy... If those nine foot beings come back into your backyard, you call the police and we'll come back here. Okay? Stunt nurse, I caught. So, <laughs> did you? Did they see the actual show? The very beginning where it showed the what is that? Dude, I heard wow. this too. <laughs> what is that? This one is like the some lady. I didn't see the video, but some lady caught video of these like two naked witches. Eating a freaking deer carcass Whoa, out what? in the wild. What? Yeah. See? Yeah. As part of a, a ritual or something like that. Weird. I'd rather catch aliens. That's for real. Terrifying. Show, now show them on the video again. I don't know if it actually showed them the the UFO falling that was caught on the body cam footage. You might show them. I hate that it like this this website like immediately goes to a new video. Oh, like even it? though it's the same article, it switches to a different. Oh, Got to keep video. that watch time up, man. Yeah, freaking butts. So there's the there's the blue thing. All right, yeah. So there, so you'll see the, the their flash. UFO falling right there. They kind of highlight it for you. It's like a that is like 
That's wild. And what we mentioned was, or at least what I mentioned is what's most concerning to me is also that the people that called in, you can tell that they're sober and right. when they're interacting uh-huh. with the cops. They're sober and they're not under the influence of anything. And it happened pretty much bang, bang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, which is just crazy. I don't know. So, so here's my question. Yeah. Just playing devil's advocate here. All right. You know, cop beats someone up. There's a cell phone immediately. Yeah. When someone's doing something stupid against the law, there's a cell phone out immediately. Aliens in your backyard, no cell phone. Well, I'm just saying, okay, would you pull out your cell phone? Hell yeah, I would. Okay, here's, here's, <laughs> my, here's my thought process on that. We are so trained as society to record cops. So if for, if for proof and evidence, right? So I feel like that's everyone's natural gravitation. But for aliens... Like, I think it's that you shock don't value. know what's going to happen. It's kind of like, do I reach for my gun? Do I run? Like you're almost in that fight, fight or flight. Or flight mode. Yeah. Like here, here's an example. Tony, I'm going to use you as my guinea pig. Okay. <laughs> you see a werewolf in your backyard. Mm. What's the first thing you're going to do? Shit my pants. <laughs> what's the second thing you're going to do? <laughs> run away. <laughs> Why aren't you pulling out your phone and filming the werewolf in the back of your house? <laughs> Because you're terrified. Like, yeah. if you see, you hear a loud sound, you go back, you look out, you see an eight to ten foot tall being staring at oh you. Oh, gosh. That's, that's a whole different dude, feeling. It like, you, it's like that. You freeze. It's like in, you know, Jurassic Park. T-Rex looks at you. You're like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do anything because I don't know what's going to happen. I'm immediately camouflaged. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. You cannot see me. And, like, with it falling, with seeing it in the police camp falling, I think that's just luck of the draw because nobody... Nobody's quick enough to get out to like get yeah. it. As it's, it's like falling. a shooting star. Like the odds of being able to right. catch it. I don't yeah. know, man. So I'd be there. But, like, what is my next move here? I'm okay. seeing what these things are doing. If they come towards the house, I'm getting out of there. So yeah. in that they same aspect, they had the consciousness to call nine one one. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're but scared. You, yeah, but you can't pull out know. your cell phone and record it, but you can pull if it out. If you have a murderer in your house, he's, he's using yeah. his, you're calling 911. You're not taking a picture. I mean, <laughs> he's using his cell phone to call 911. You had other take people there, though. Hey, let's, let's, all, let's all go case the Beacom's house later. Let's now, here's go. here's the other reason. See if he pulls out his phone to record it. his dog out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dog's vicious. <laughs> Watch out. He'll leave a scratch. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think the other reason, especially now, like the other thing that was in the news that makes me more, I don't know, open to the idea breadcrumbs is uh, the guy that just, the whistleblower that just came out. Yeah. yeah. yeah Chris already talked about this. He didn't like go all the way into it. Go ahead. Oh. I never do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a big canal. That's for next like, time. It's a big, it's a big thing. Go ahead. Uh, so, basically, go ahead. You said. So yeah, I look up what he is, but he was like a big wig in uh, for the Defense Department, I think. What was his name? For he was a former intelligence and yeah. military official, David Grush. Oh, intelligence agency. That's what it was. Yeah, but he was like he was high up in there, right? And they've they've checked into him. They've like verified his credentials and everything. And he's on like a British. I swear it was like a news news nation. I felt like he was on like some British show as the clip I saw. Like mm. almost like our version of Dateline or something. Kind of something. But he was essentially saying he's like over the past decades we have been recovering fully intact right. ship extraterrestrial ships, partially intact. Um the interviewer even asked him, he's like, Now are there like aliens or things like this? And he's like, Well, with crashed like ships there's generally going to be a pilot. And so we've recovered, we've recovered everything. And so the guy's like, so you're saying that the government's been lying to the American people for decades. And he's like, yes, that's just common knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But, uh, and that's the thing is everyone wants to say like, Oh, well, no, this is the misdirect. This is what they're doing. But the Pentagon is trying to deny it. Right. Like they're, if, if the government is working so hard to use it as a misdirect, Mm -hmm. they wouldn't negate themselves at the same time. But also, if you have a whistleblower and the government, which one are you going to believe when your whole purpose for not fully believing the whistleblower is because you don't trust the government and think they're trying to trick you? I'm just saying he better stay away from, <laughs> from grassy knolls. That's what I'm saying. Right. That dude better or be like, like, like Snowden or he something. better go find Snowden and hang out in Russia. Right. right. Another thing in the news, though. 
killer whales. Have you heard about the killer whales? No. No. So the one in the forest. <laughs> it's no place. It's no place for a killer whale. <laughs> they found out that killer wh- whales, and this is um, off the Iberian, like Iberian coastal waters or whatever. Iberian. Yeah. 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 That. Like Spain, Portugal. They killer whales are attacking boats. So one a young oh, killer whale. I saw this. A younger killer whale got killed by a boat. And so one of the killer whales um, disabled the rudder of a boat. And it's teaching. And they say there's oh, 11 boy. plus killer whales now that have been taught to, to attack boats and how to... To, to stop them. Like disable them? Disable them, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Or the, the killer whales are supposed to be like the smartest yeah. sea smart, creature. Yeah, yeah, are, yeah. And honestly, one of the most dangerous. Well, they're like, the ones that kill for fun. <clears throat> yeah. They're, no, they're the for ones sport. that, they're the, also yeah. the ones that throw, they play they with seals. Play, they, yeah. Yeah, they, they'll they'll they yeet, yeet them up in the air. They'll seal in like the air. Like 40 feet. Have you seen them and just take just a seal off the ice? Yes. Yeah. I was just going to mention that. Yeah. So what they'll do is they'll go underneath like three or four of them. Yep. They'll go in unison and they'll go towards the ice and then they'll dive under and create a wave to rush the seal off. Mm-hmm. Like a wake. So and the ice usually, tilts and the water right. comes splashing over it. And, and there's off, usually one the ready to catch it. Yep. There's a catcher. That's crazy. Yeah. Speaking it's of boats. Like nuts. Did you guys see that catcher. video I sent of the mermaids? No. Oh, yes. the sirens. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Freaking crazy. What the this Those guy, I don't know what he's if he's like a fisherman or what, but he's, he's on, on this like boat. Or... Yeah, and uh, the video I initially saw ha- actually had footage of him filming things swimming alongside the boat, and I couldn't find that video. But they there were things swimming along the side of the boat, and it looked too small to be a whale. Oh, I didn't or anything. see that. Yeah, I, I just heard I, the sound. I couldn't find that initial video, huh. and then and then it went on to what you then hear, and that's like the siren sounds of like the mermaids. Oh my god! And like call like them calling the fishermen out into the water. It was terrifying. I have to watch it. I have, it, I'm not caught up so on those. Crazy. Is it Pirates of the Caribbean where they make out mermaids to actually be dangerous? Make out with mermaids. Before. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Well, sirens were mythically dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Well, are sirens and mermaids the same yeah. thing? Yeah. They were in there. Oh, okay. Look yeah. at him. He's going to take a hit. He's going to try and wake sirens up. Were in the I'm not. Head. Oh, <laughs> he's playing with the bottle. Now you should. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell when he's getting tired because he gets a little rosy in the face. Yeah. Am I rosy in the face? A little bit, yeah. All right. My daughter has rosy cheeks when she wakes up from a nap. <laughs> so that's when she's well rested. Uh. Anyway. That's yeah, crazy. it's crazy. So they're learning. I mean, you think about it. What if killer whales had opposable thumbs? What do you think? What if they had, that reminds me. I remember when swimmers. I was a kid. Remember how they would make these like TV movies and it would be in like parts? Mm. There was one. Like Merlin? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was another one about sharks. And they were like researching these sharks or whatever. But then all of a sudden the sharks grew legs. Deep blue sea. Shark name. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and they like, these sharks grew legs and they would come up into this like research facility and they were like killing yeah. everybody. Well, they've done research and they say that killer whales would be way more evolved or, or something, but they can't control their environment. Like they're uh, incapable of controlling their environment like we have uh, done with ours. So creature. It's called Creature. Creature. Yeah, uh, it was in the 90s. I got you. Creature, an amphib- amphibious shark, like monster that terrorizes an abandoned secret military base and people who live on the island it is located on. Deep Blue Sea. Dude, this That's one sounds show. like. <laughs> no, this show was so wild. I still have this vivid image of the shark like swimming up to the stairs and they're like, oh, we're good. And then it starts to walk out of oh, the stairs yeah. and everyone um, freaks out. Aren't they like swimming through like a, like a tunnel area or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah. yeah, I remember yeah, that. See, it's freaking <laughs> weird, dude. That what show was, is so weird. What was the cartoon with the sharks? Uh, oh, Street Sharks. Uh, Street, Street Sharks. sharks. <laughs> that show was dope. Did you know <laughs> some of Vin Diesel's earliest acting, he was a spokesperson for Street Sharks toys? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man. See, look. I remember they're just standing that. up. Yeah, oh, my gosh, I remember. That's terrifying. Right, right dude? That, yeah. I'll be honest. That actually looks better than I expected. Yeah, like, it, it looks better than I dude, remember. 90s, honestly, like when they actually had to do the <laughs> suits. Yeah, that's it. Was so creepy. Yeah. When they actually had to do the suits and not 
yeah. like CGI. Dude, that stuff looks so much better. Yep. Like the old Ninja Turtles, way better than the new CGI yeah. stuff. Yeah. Did you see the Dude, thing about Ninja them. Turtles? Oh, they're renaming them. They're Did you re- see that? The- Shut yeah. up. They have four new Ninja Turtles. Like they're replacing the Ninja Turtles with four new ones. Is it in the Seth Rogen one? I don't know. The no, that, they're oh. the normal ones. Oh. Really? Yeah, they're getting Stupid. renamed. And it, they're dumb names. It's like uh, four letter words. It's because <laughs> Tim. People yeah. don't know who Leonardo, <laughs> Donatello, I was Michelangelo. Tim the Turtle. <laughs> That's with, with two M's. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> no, it's two T's. Oh. Timmy. <laughs> Timmy. Timmy. Tim. Um, while, while he looks that up, I also wanted to bring up the fact that they're in Utah schools banning the Holy Bible from the library. Just in Davis County. Just Davis, in Davis County. All right. All right. What the heck is That's going stupid. on? What? Yeah. It's um. It's because there was a couple parents who called and complained that the Bible was too graphic. 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 No, here's, here's yeah. what I think happened. Because there was that law that went into place that banned a lot of those like kind of transgender and like like graphically sexual books oh, that yeah. were like promoting the mm. the alphabet tribe and whatnot. Um, I honestly think it was like their way of getting back mm. and calling and complaining. Because honestly, there are some weird stories in the Bible. Oh, there definitely. Are. Huh? Definitely yeah. graphic, definitely weird. But it's the context is vastly different. Yeah. Songs and of so, Solomon. Well, what happens if someone just? <laughs> what happens if a kid just brings a Bible into school and starts reading it? Are they gonna tell them Canceled. to take it away? Like, yeah, like it's it's Christianity's gonna hit an all time high in Davis County. <laughs> Kids are gonna start taking it. Bro, they state. did a they did a poll, um, and again, I want to know where these polls happen because I've never done one in my life. But apparently, they tell us the demographic of everything in the country. Yeah, <laughs> but like only fifty percent of people believe in God. And oh, it's the I did lowest see, ever. I did see it was at the wow. lowest all time. Yeah. Out of honestly, an the explanation US for at, all the issues that are going on. Out of the U.S. Uh-huh. or out of what? In the U.S. Wow, fifty <clears> percent. <throat> but yeah, I think I, it's just. I feel like there's, like there's, man, because like believing in God, that's that's not even necessarily religious. Because I mean, how many people do you know that? Yeah, they don't go to church, they don't do that. But mm-hmm. so many people, I feel like, still at least believe in. God in yeah. a higher power of sort. That's me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah, because I've, I've heard a lot of people say they don't believe in organized religion and things like that, but mm-hmm. again, still believe in God. But yeah, yeah atheism has become like is... a, it's become a popular kind of fad. I heard, I did hear, I mean, granted, this was forever ago that more people in the world recognize the Coca Cola symbol than they do Jesus Christ. That's really? Sad. Yeah. I mean, I, I saw That's that. Sad. I think I do remember seeing that, but I don't know if it's real. Anyway, back know. onto the turtles. <laughs> Did you find out the names of them? I don't know. The next generation of Teenage Mutant Turtles. Is, oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, it was re- as the names of the four new turtles in the last Ronin timeline are shared. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the last Ronin, the Lost Years, number one, which I guess it's a oh, comic a book, comic sounds book. like. Oh. Um, the new turtles in the dark future are named Yi, Odin, Moja, and Uno. As the meaning behind their name continues, the legacy for the heroes in the half shell. So they they're, can't use they're that like anymore. reaching story way flashes. back then. It says the story flashes from past to present as a, gen- as a new generation of turtles is trained by Casey Jones Jr. The new turtles who ha- each have a distinct distinct looks are given the name. Yeah. What the heck? So it's like, yeah, they're like creating a new timeline, but it's just in comic books. Hmm. Gotcha. Oh, so it's not a TV show. No. Oh, okay. Sounds like it could be one. I feel like they were doing something else with the last Ronin idea, like making a game or something. Hmm. Maybe. Interesting. Oh, weird. Yeah. They're going to be like very kind of very different. Oh, wow. Oh, weird. Oh, wow, we one of them is like picture huge. In picture, no. Yeah, we can still do it. What the devil? Dude, that big one. That's kind of interesting. I don't They're know. almost like, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, I was a hater, but maybe not so much. I, I almost wonder of, if they have anime now. I mean, it makes more sense, though, if they're yeah. completely different turtles. Yeah. They look like they each have their own ability. Yeah. 
special skills or something. Yeah. That one's got legs for days. <laughs> <laughs> that one? That one over there? Yep. Is it go. weird that like the moment I saw it, I thought it was a female? It does look like a lady uh, turtle. It could be. Could be a lady turtle. Could be a lady. Could be a lady. All right. Last thing I got in the news is the ridiculous price, but awesome technology of the new Apple. What's it called? Vision Pro. Vision Pro. Apple Vision Pro. Dude, I'm not going to lie. If there is anything that could sway me to Apple, it might be this product. I don't know. It looked freaking dope, dude. I I think no matter what. You were the chosen one. (laughs) I know. (laughs) I'm telling you what, man. The only thing. thing It's going to be a game changer. It's going to be amazing. I ain't going to pay 3,500 bucks for it, though. That's okay. Really? You know they'll come out with the biggest Apple person. No, Cam's the biggest Apple A lot of people (laughs) will. I think uh, think they'll come out with the Apple. what you pay for other stuff. Apple (laughs) S. Apple Vision S is what they're going to come out with alongside it. Vision S Pro. means you pay a crap ton of money for stuff that I just don't think it's worth. (laughs) Delve. (laughs) Delve. Do share. Do share. Yeah. Delve, let's go into this. Do share. I don't know, like your your pods, your watch. My pods? Yeah, your AirPods. Don't you talk about Oh, he's talking about other Apple products. Uh, (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. not this one because it's not technically out yet. But I'm just saying $3,500 for this. Being the big Apple fans that you are, I just wouldn't be surprised if you're like, I'm not paying that. And then two days later, I got them. <laughs> like, I see that. Yeah, I, get, I totally get that. You have the Vision Pro. No, but I, the thing I is, the Zach thing. doesn't do much with computers. It, remind, no. it reminds me of like uh, Iron Man, like how yeah. he's all. See, that, that's what I'm excited for. Like see, I, I thought envision... of uh, Ready Player One. Yep. How it's yeah. like... I watched Ready Player One the night before the announcement oh, really? just randomly. But yeah, was very there, much like that. Was there any hinting at all that this was going to be a thing? There were rumors. Really? Mac uh, Mac rumors and 9to5Mac yeah. were all talking about it for a while. Really? Uh-huh. Dude, it looks incredible. It does. Mm. Like, I'm excited to see... Like, think about this. Let's say you want to learn how to work on an engine. Being able to have that engine in front of your face, manipulate it, and literally just break it apart. Tony, oh, yeah, you know, Tony, Tony Stark, Stark style. style. Yeah. And like... That's going to be grant like, and, and here's the thing is you have the engine on your table and you can see it and then you have its vir- virtual representation. You're like, uh, change timing belt. And it takes you to it and you're like, okay, you walk over to the other side and you're it's like, take these four screws mm-hmm. out here. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Like the best instructions ever. You're building a her doll or whatever the freak <laughs> you got from Ikea. Ikea. Dude. Ikea. And it's doll. literally got the instructions on in front of you while you're actually physically doing it. And all you have to do is look at the instructions. Next page. It moves over. You don't have to put your hands I, down. You don't have to do anything. You just look at it. Yeah. I think this will be game changer for, for boys and, and people who, because school meant like yeah. boys do terrible in school, typically compared to women. Oh, yeah. Because we're visual learners. Very Hands much so. On. Yeah, exactly. So I think <laughs> yeah. it's going to appeal. <laughs> <laughs> I licked my microphone. <laughs> um, but I think being able to do that and be interactive with it, I think it's going to do well, yeah, so I many. Mean, even with the Oculus, right. uh, I played a game where you legit could fix and repair a car. And I was like, dude, yeah. this is legit the future. Like you can, yeah. you know, like kids are going to learn all about all sorts of crazy stuff. Even doing surgeries. Like you could yeah. pretend like... You know, okay. Well, you can have multiple camera feeds and have all those cameras sitting there, and you're staring at the patient, and like there's a camera deeper in there, so you can look at that, move around, and look back at the patient. Like, but what I mean too is like boys are well known to be distracted a lot easier. It'll it'll keep them engaged. Yeah, I think it'd be awesome. I mean, for women too, and girls too, but for men particularly who get sidetracked all the time, it's just and boys, yeah, it'd be awesome. It's awesome. All right. It really does sound cool. I just joke about you buying it, but oh, I, it is it is pricey. I saw a video of when they announced it in the keynote, and all the people that were watching, like on Apple campus, everyone gasped. They were like, <gasps> "Oh!" <laughs> like everybody was like, "Ding!" The whole time I was watching the video, I was like, "No, nah, I think it'll start. I think it'll start at a grand." And the more they talked about, it, I was like, ah, two grand." <laughs> <laughs> and they came up with more stuff. So I was like, ah, uh, like three grand, <laughs> maybe four. <laughs> wow. See, personally, I the price didn't shock me at all, just because 
to me, it's like it's literally a computer you wear on your face and with everything it does. And it's got and 15 I, cameras on it. Yeah. See, all the things about it, to me, the price doesn't surprise so me. So it is augmented reality completely. Yeah. Well, not, so it's, it can be. It's, right. Well, it's kind of because you're still, you're still staring into a screen. Yeah. Like there's no glass. You're not actually fully seeing through it. But the 15 cameras are creating your world in a high resolution. Right. So even when people look at you and they see your face, it's because there's a screen on the outside of it also. Mm. So they can see a, a virtual representation of your face. So we could have a conversation while I'm wearing the goggles and I see you, you see me. Yeah, that's really going to change you, the porn you see game. Me? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> <laughs> you know it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Probably. With all 17 cameras. <laughs> 15. There's 15. All right. <laughs> all in high 15. resolution. <laughs> I mean, they do it in every show that has any kind of thing. Right. Like that. Remember, yeah. they did it in Minority Report. I think they did it in freaking uh, Ready Player One. All that stuff. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. Gonna start making accessories. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. I mean, I I'm just happy that so far Meta has failed pretty pretty good. They like they failed pretty bad. They but, just uh, yeah, man. But uh, yeah. Anything else? Last call? Nope. All right. This bar's shutting down for the. D- oh wait, the witches eating deer. Oh Anything yeah. Further? Just witches uh, eating a carcass. A Canadian nature lover's attempt to catch. <laughs> capture wildlife on camera backfired terrifyingly when she inadvertently documented what appeared to be naked witches 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 <laughs> naked witches <laughs> <laughs> eating a carcass at night right by her house that's insane that man. is odd what a wild world and we live freaking in freaking gross they people florida? clapping <laughs> are they in florida are they in florida <laughs> 100%. no dude canada canada freaking wow. canada's coming apart man there's weird stuff happening in canada yeah, all right Canada. All right, guys. Well, thanks again so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, For the hashtag today, let's do aliens. Hashtag. Wait, did we already do aliens? Yeah, I'm sure we have already. We did. did Fairly recently, I want to say. I think so. Okay. We'll do hashtag Canada. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) For the witch's brew. So uh, let us know if you have any questions or comments. Use the hashtag to let us know that you reached here to the end. Thank you again for tuning in. We truly appreciate your support, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao. Bye. Thanks for being part of this crowd. Tony says bye, too. Bye, Tony. (laughs)